Hey, Hey, John. Oh, it does hug here. It's stifling. These uh, shots are taken from the library to the Eagles on Eagle Rock, just outside the school. The dump. Some people call it the end of the line. But some people know it as the entrance to Canoe Trail. Recently upgraded, Canoe Trail was one of the first places that provided an opportunity for a walk in the park, getting away from it all and getting back to nature. It's hard to believe, but some of these redwoods have been here for over a million years. It's a place of continuous regeneration. Trees grow and fall and become nurse logs for other living things. Caves abound with their concomitant myths and legends. The raison d'etre of Canoe Trail, an aborted attempt at making one of the antique vessels. All work and no play. These trees, this ecosystem, right down to the most minuscule fungus that provides the nitrogen to help them grow in a synergy, is, has, a, has a thousand uses to the indigenous peoples here. And Siba Geigi, I'm sure, would love to know about this business. And uh, there are spies everywhere, to the point where there's almost a cultural jealousy here. I was struck to find out that people did not want secrets, legends, recipes to leave. It was considered cultural theft.
canoe trail leads to the opposite shore, or rather the shore at the east end. where there are other delights to explore. One of the physical considerations that I had first to learn here was the tides. It's about 9.30 in the morning now. Tide was low at 8. And if I stayed here, went for a rest on the beach and fell asleep, I'd be under. In a couple of hours. This area has been glaciated, however, it's a geologist's dream that the island of Kitkatla has popped out of the sea. Because quite often, Wherever you can go, you can see these wonderful folds and, and extrusions that is not the result of faulting. Where is it? This is volcanic, volcanic rock. Or is it shale? Now this particular spot is where three pairs of my colleagues live. Hello, Rob. Hello. Come out and say hello. Uh, I haven't... Rob is a retired rugby player. And uh, he came out here, married his therapist, and uh, came out from Winnipeg uh, via Vancouver. And um, do you have anything to say to folks you'll never see? Hi, folks, I'll never see. <laughs> well, I'm going to go terrorize the neighbors and uh, carry on. It, I didn't see the red light on. Did you, did you uh, cover it? I don't think this one has one. This um, is um, John and Lorraine's place. Hi, John, you're on. John Hello. is a retired financial wizard. Yes, I am. And he, uh, <laughs> he's living here with his uh, mail-order bride from the Philippines, but uh, I guess the mail went the wrong direction. <laughs> and so did John. How are you doing today? Not bad. I'm just on the phone. I'll be right back. Sure. Sorry, right, Vince. Yeah, um, well, that, we... We sort of are, I guess we're sort of taking advantage of the situation, but we gotta, we're moving uh, next week, eh? I'm gonna go terrorize the neighbors. Now this is uh, the abode of um, Don Vino Pucci and his wife. Uh, and they come here from the witness protection plan and they are under the names of Andy and Vicky Dodds. Uh, quite often they don't answer their door. <laughs> Come on and say hello to people you'll never meet. <laughs> 
When do you want the boat? <laughs> all right, all right. One thing I've been happy to do is increase the recreational opportunities for the students here by widening a trail up the hills behind the village. And several student groups have been coming up here. The bonus of the trail, it's a very fragile environment, but the bonus of it is to minimize the use of a whole bunch of trail systems to destroy more, so we just get to destroy one little area. For those of you in Manitoba, I'm not wearing any bug spray at all. Not that there's no bugs, there's a few of them. But you can actually survive here without it. Of course, one of the things you learn anywhere in the outdoors is that if you want to avoid bugs, you stay in an open area. Something that must have uh, escaped the uh, the campground builders in our provincial and national parks. At the village of Kitkatla. The lake in the foreground is drinking water. The new school under construction, the old school on the shoreline beyond with its fabulous view. The church, featured in many of Roy Henry Vickers' paintings. Coast Road, new construction. Back down to the dump and canoe trail. Snow capped interior mountains. This is art. And this is art. This is art. This is my house. One of my neighbors, or uh, several. Let's see the place. Okay, from the front door. We enter into the 
kitchen area with a little stop to show exactly where we are. And we have Vancouver down there. Up to the Queen Charlotte's. And uh, Prince Rupert here. And here we are on the island of Dolphin Island and Kitkatla on the North Shore. Kitimat over here. Standard kitchen area. The pets. Students uh, and more students and staff. The Great Outdoors Fraser. See if we can get uh, maybe a deer in there next September. Hmm. Down the hall. The requisite one-eyed monster. What's that noise? Did you hear that noise? This is a network, CB, that uh, connects most of the houses and uh, tells you what's going on. That was our principal announcing that the students have to be down at the dock to get their plane into town, Rupert, to go swimming this afternoon. Uh, parents call their kids home on the CB, um, community announcements, uh, sometimes uh, an argument or two, but uh, it really does tie in everybody together and um, you notice when it's not there when it's switched off. Let's get back to the show. Okay, TV room on the right, bathroom on the left, the master bedroom. And see, I've got my fair share of storage. Look, Mom. All clean. I wonder where it is. And my pride and joy. I don't want to trip over my scuba stuff. It's all ready to go. My equipment room. And somewhat disarray. And lots of goodies.
course, the benefits of having a boat are to be able to go where you want, when you want. This is the teacher's boat. Each one of us threw in $250 and bought this uh, leaky uh, item with a 20 horsepower, and it gets, gets us where we want to go, when we want to go, and it's a blast. I'll just show you around what we can see not far from home here. Not bad, eh? Now we all know how risky this is in the area of competency exposure. here that's why we have to go slow recognize the kelp tons of it here At times it's fun just to slow the boat down, pull out a good book, cup of tea, and watch the clouds. Here we're out at the west side of the island, looking out to the open sea towards Haida Gwaii. And it looks like it might be interesting weather coming up. As a prairie boy, I often said that I wouldn't want to live out in the west coast or in BC because of the mountains or trees or whatever, and you wouldn't really see any sky. However, it might not be that it's so much that the sky doesn't have anything to offer as there may be, just be, there may be other things to look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, 
you can spend a lot of time doing some thinking up here. But you gotta go home sometime. Other things to see. No, bring it over here. Show me on the camera. I just got it yesterday on my birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday. Thanks. Yeah, that's nice. I had it on sports day. Go well, put it on. I remember you were wearing that yesterday. I think they got some film of you. That's great. Bye. See you later. Tell him whatever you need to behave, okay? And he's going to listen to the whole time. Everybody recorded? Oh, recovered from Sports Day? Not you. I did. You did? How many ribbons you got? Mine are all ripped up. Bad. What happened to yours? How's it going? You going swimming? Yeah. It's just a little one. Hey, I'm not little. Who's the shot? Can I say that you're the boss of the town, Vince? No, no, no. I mean, not today. <laughs> okay. This is the boss of the town? Who's the chaperone with you? Are you? See ya. You need it now. What a time. One of our modes of transportation. Inland air. It's comment time. <laughs> Another wonderful day in downtown Kikella. There you go. There you go. <laughs> These pilots are known for their daring do. <laughs> Especially when they come down this way. Well, it's been a long day and you've been very patient. That's uh, 35 minutes uh, without a break. Uh, I haven't had a chance to show you uh, any scuba or the rock climbing, but uh, maybe that'll come in another video. Um, 